I'm going to split the rest of these distance problems up into three different videos. So in order to have the notes done for distance problems, you're going to need to watch all three videos. And I'm going to call it distance problems number one, distance problems number two, and distance problems number three, or something like that. I might even call them the type of problem they are, but you need to watch three videos on distance. The reason I'm doing it that way is so that if you have trouble with any specific type of distance problem, then you can go back and you can just watch it only about that one type, since there's three main types that we're going to talk about. Here's the first one. It's just a regular motion problem, something about two different things moving, or something moving and then um, returning or traveling at a different speed the next time, something like that. These regular motion problems are always talking about distance equals rate times time, which most of you, if you're in eighth grade this year, have already dealt with this, um, and you're looking at that equation. You're going to set up a chart, which I'll show you how to do, and you're going to fill in your given info, just like we did when we had mixture problems. You should end up with two variables. That's a little bit different. In mixture problems, you ended up with two empty spaces but you only had one variable. Then one of those two variables is usually going to have some kind of adjustment on the given info, which again I'll go over. Write this down, hit play when you're ready to write example one down. Write example one down as soon as you're done, hit play, and we'll go through this example. All right, so in example one, this is going to be dedicated to Miss Delaney and the Star Wars Club. She saw me working on these notes and she wanted all of them to be Star Wars themed. So all three of your distance problem videos should have some type of Star Wars theme to them. It talks about two Wookiees start at the same place and they travel in the same direction. One Wookiee is averaging 30 miles per hour and the other averages 46 miles per hour. How many hours will it be before they are 72 miles apart? So hopefully everyone noticed hours is what you're looking for. You know that's one of those two variables that you're going to have in here. We're going to go ahead and set up a chart, and we're going to look at how to start plugging in information. But I want you to draw a picture first that kind of represents this. It might help you to set up your chart and also think about what you're answering in the end. And it'd be great if you drew a picture every time you came across one of these so that you kind of think about it. So if we have two Wookiees that are starting from the same spot, so let's say they're starting from right here, and they're going in the same direction. Here's one of them. Here's the other. Now I drew one of mine further, and the reason I drew one further is because one is traveling faster. So this one is traveling at 46 miles per hour, the slower one is traveling at 30 miles per hour. What I'm looking for is when are they going to get to this space being 72 miles difference? So we're looking for when that space right there is 72 miles. All right, let's go set up a chart and figure out how to do this. You're going to set up your charts almost like your mixture problems. Distance equals rate times time instead of the mixture that you had, but it's the same idea where you have something to put up here that you're going to fill in every time. And you're always going to label these. So I'm just going to call it the slow wookie and the fast wookie. It's easier than wookie number one or wookie number two since I wouldn't know which one I was talking about later. So slow wookie, fast wookie. And now you're going to go ahead and fill in the information that you have, that you've been given. So first thing, you know the rate. You know the rate of the slow wookie is at 30 miles per hour. So you can fill that in for your rate. You know the rate of the fast Wookiee is 46 miles per hour, so you can fill that in. 
You also know that they didn't talk about time at all up here. Because they didn't talk about time at all, you know that they just left at the same time. And they're traveling for the same amount of time because we're looking at the time when they are 72 miles apart. Time is your hours, which is actually one of your variables. This is the main one you're looking for, your time and hours. But now you've got this distance that you have to think about. It says, how many hours will it be before they're 72 miles apart? So we know that this one is going to be 72 miles past whatever that one is. We know this one's going to be 72 miles less than whatever this one is. You actually have two options for setting these up here. You need to make sure that you choose the one that's easier for you. Most people tend to see the addition easier. So I'm going to go ahead and show it to you that way. We don't know how many total miles they travel. All we know is that there's some amount of miles traveled till here, plus 72 for this one. There's your equations set up right there. So I know that if this one went a certain distance, the slow Wookiee, the fast Wookiee is going to go that same distance plus 72 additional miles. Okay, someone else might have thought of it this way. Fast Wookiee went a certain distance, so this would just be your D. Slow Wookiee went distance minus 72, and they would have had a subtracting 72 up there. Either one's right, but you can't do both. It's only one or the other. If you were to do both, then you'd be talking about something completely different. You'd be talking about this one gets 72 less, this one gets 72 more, now you're looking at 72 plus 72. So you have to be really careful about that. You're only adjusting one of them. Here's your two equations. So now you just set them up and you solve. First equation is distance equals 30t. Second equation, distance plus 72 equals 46t. All I did was pull them from the chart. Distance equals 30t. Distance plus 72, didn't have anything to distribute to it, equals 46t. And most of you probably realize right away, this is set up for substitution. So I end up with 30t plus 72 equals 46t. And now I'm going to solve for my time. I'm going to subtract 30 from both sides. I get 72 equals 16t, divide both sides by 16, and I end up with 4.5 equals t. Now that I have that, I need to go back and make sure, did I find what I'm looking for? I found t, which is time. They asked me, how many hours will it be? That is my time. So in 4.5 hours, these two, car, or these two Wookiees will be 72 miles apart. If I wanted to find my distance, how far they actually went, plug in 4.5, multiply it by 30, I get the distance of the slow Wookiee, and then I can add 72 to get the distance of the fast Wookiee. But it didn't even ask me for that. Every one of these, you're going to have some kind of adjustment in one of the two variables. They're going to give you one set of information, whether it's time or distance. Then they're going to give you one where it looks like this. It'll be one of the three. Then there's going to be one where you have some type of adjustment. So we'll practice those more tomorrow. Write your answer in words, which is they will be 72 miles apart in 4.5 hours. Now go watch the next set of video notes after this.